The Haunted Rug by Sean Waters. I was at this store one day looking for a tool for my new invention. Hey Sam, do you think I should get the extra medium camera or the mini mega screwdriver? I don't even care. Whatever gets us out of here faster. That's my friend Sam. He never likes a vending machine like me, but I guess everything always works out. I didn't want to bring Sam with me to the store, but this was the only punishment I could possibly think of. Going up citizens' cars should be unpunishable. Maybe I should take him home. Oh great, he's gone. I looked at every place Sam would often disappear to. I first looked at Game Stoppers, then at Floor Mart, later at Toys R Us, and finally at All You Can Eat Buffet, because I was hungry. Finally, I found Sam at the one place Sam would never disappear to, the rug department. He was wearing this red rug that was huge. Why do you want to get this? Because when I want to take over the universe, I want to have a huge rug in my hallway. I didn't want to spend a hundred dollars for some fancy rug, but I'm sure that Sam would get back to me if I did. So I got the rug and scrammed and only paid fifty dollars. It's not like buying rugs going to harm anyone, right? When Sam and I first got home, my cat Boone started kissing at the rug. It's very odd for Luke to do that because the last rug we had somehow disappeared and Luke shed on that thing for so long it blended with the floor. I placed the rug down on the floor hoping Luke wouldn't attack it. Finally, it was time for bed, and I needed a good night's rest if I'm going to make him bench tomorrow in a second. I don't know what it will be, but I'll hopefully make something that won't blow up at the end. <laughs> I then woke up finding myself flying on the red carpet. Or is it a monster? <gasps> that was a horrible nightmare. I hope it was just a nightmare. Just then, I realized I had five minutes until I presented my invention that I haven't even invented yet. I then quickly mixed a bunch of scissors and other mechanics together to make this machinery that's supposed to cut fabric or paper and turn into string. I finally got my machine inside right on time. Now all I need to do was present. What took you so long? I didn't have time to answer, so I started to show. Welcome to Sean Incorporated. This machine is called a shredder. This mo- Gah! The rug! It found me! I'm doomed! I think a piece of wall must have hit the machine because the machine sucked the rug in and started shredding. And the rug turned into a ball of yarn. That's all for Sean Incorporated! Everything went well at the end. Lots of people that saw the commercial were so frightened they believed a rug would try to attack them. I then sold millions of those machines that day. Sam was the only one not happy. He kept on telling me that a monster rug in his hallway would make his fortress a billion times better. But I believe he'll never learn. So more of the story, don't take your friends shopping with you. The end.